Hey everybody, this is Diana K, and I'm coming with you to you all with a video of showing people who have to hold their cell phone. If you have a cell phone that has a timer on it, and your camera is on the back, or even if it's on the front, all you have to do is set your timer, press start, find something. Well, find something first that you can lean it against. Right now, I'm using my banister, and just find something with a uh, flat surface that you can actually lean the phone against. So you can be able to actually press the timer, step back, and show your items. Or whatever you're doing. Or if you're just talking, you could just step back and show your items. Or if you're in a chair, you can actually put your phone down, press start, and record. But if you're... I'm going to actually show y'all. I'm going to set my timer. Set the phone on the thing. And step back. As if I'm showing something. Instead of having to actually hold my cell phone. And you can set your phone against anything that has a flat surface. If your phone's like an oval phone or whatever, my phone's like an oval phone. So you have to make sure it's sturdy before you step back or it's going to tip over. You can sit it on the window ledge. You can sit it on the dresser. If your dresser has a mirror on it, you can sit it on, sit it, lean it against the mirror. Or if it's not tall enough, you can sit something in front of the mirror and lean it. Lean it on the mirror, on top of the box, or whatever you use. As long as it's something with a flat surface that you can sit it against. Because it, it can be hard to actually hold your phone and show your items. And like if you're sitting at a table, that's even better. Because you can sit your phone on something. If you have a taller box. Say if you have a taller box, you can still use the whatever you're using to hold, sit your phone against. Just sit your phone in the item on top of the box lean your phone against the the item like this and you won't have and all you got to do is press your timer and, and most of the time if you have a timer you're going to hear it go off so you know when you're recording and you could just turn it off any old time so if you have a back facing camera a front and back facing camera it might be easier if you have a timer because you can actually see yourself. So, if you don't and you just have a back or a front facing camera, just set your timer, sit the phone, sit the phone on something without making it fall, and you should be good. Like a lot of the times, I just sit my phone, not my phone, I don't too much record off my phone, or someone else's phone, or a tablet and you will never know that I'm actually not recording with a camera so well not uh, well I'm recording with a camera but not an actual camera I'm recording with a cell phone or a tablet so this is a way to not have to hold your phone sometimes it can be time to assume it because you might want to actually see if you can see yourself when you step back when you start recording the first time. Get it a test out before you actually sit and record everything and then look at it afterwards. And be mindful of your time because I don't know if you have one of the phones that cut off after a while. So this is it. I hope this helps or people understand what I'm saying. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Bye.